What's up guys, this is Roger here back with another video. Today I'm going to be doing an unboxing and showing the capabilities of this Pixel Voical Air wireless microphone system. I picked this up not too long ago off of Amazon. I'll leave a link in the description below. Um, I'm looking forward to using a device like this. Uh, currently, as you can see, I'm using a wired lavalier mic, which is connected to my Canon EOS 80D camera. So it's sometimes cumbersome and it works good. The audio quality is good, but you know, you got the cords and it can trip over stuff and, and yank it and all that stuff, which has happened. So before I zoom in to do the unboxing, I just want to read off some stuff on the box. This comes with, uh, two units. Uh, it's a receiver and one transmitter. You have a uh, operating distance of 70 meters, which equates to about 220 feet. Uh, operating time six hours. It's a built-in microphone, UHF transmission, real-time monitoring, OLED screen. Uh, dimensions they have listed as the height 2.2 inches, the depth 0.6 inches, and the width 1.8 inch. So it's uh, relatively small. Uh, pickup mode is omnidirectional and charging power is 5 volt slash 1 amp. Pretty cool. So let's crack this open and check it out. Okay, let's crack this open. Uh, one thing to note my uh, current wired lavalier mic that I use, um, it has a distance of about 20 feet. And uh, So for 220 feet, the difference, oof, that's going to be awesome. So let's see what we have in this box. Oh, cool. Comes in a little carrying case. That is cool. Didn't realize that was coming in it. Okay, so when we first open it up, what do we have here? We have, looks like a 3.5 millimeter audio cable, two of them. I'll just take it out. side all right and these are labeled like this one says camera cable this one says phone cable this is USB type A to USB type C cable all right Okay, so two of those, USB Type-A to USB Type-C. Okay, and this also has, you can use this, this also has a lavalier mic that plugs in, I guess, to the transmitter. And you can also, on the transmitter, it has a microphone built into it, so you can just attach that or hook this up with a cable to the transmitter, which is on your person. So you won't have to have like where I'm currently using, I have my lavalier mic connected all the way connected to the camera across from where I'm seated. So sometimes it's a pain in the butt. You get instruction manual here. A little sign up to be a product tester from Pixel. And the two, the one receiver transmitter, let's see which is which. Okay. 
looks like a power button, plus and minus, and looks like a settings button, and a USB type C port right there. And then there's a headphone input jack, and one for the microphone. And let's see this one. And this has, okay. Now on this one, this just has a screen, looks like for a microphone, and you have a input for 3.5 millimeter, which I believe is probably for the lavalier. Microphone here would plug in like so. And then you attach this to your shirt or what have you. But you can use this just self-contained like that with the microphone. So this would be the transmitter, and this one would be the receiver, which has an input for, like I said, headphones, and I, I thought that was a microphone, I'm not sure what this other input is. I'll look at the instructions. And last thing in this case, this is a, I guess a hot shoe attachment, which will attach right to the hot shoe where you would normally put a flash or something on your camera. If you have like a DSLR, most cameras have that. Connect that in, and then you can connect the receiver like so, and you would attach this on top of your camera. All right, pretty cool. So in a nice little hard case. This is nice, I didn't know it had a case. So, so that's very cool, unexpected, but cool. So, I guess I'll, let me press this and see if it has any power. It might not. Oh, it does. Okay. Okay. And I'm going to try to zoom in on the screen here. But it has, uh, looks like a antenna. And it says TX, so like I said, this is the transmitter with the microphone port there for the lavalier and the other screen for the microphone. And this other one, let's see if it has power. Okay, it also has an antenna uh, bars like you would have on your cell phone, uh, battery indicator, and this one says RX, meaning receiver. And this would be attached to your camera. And as I'm speaking, I see the uh, there's lines going up for, I guess, the audio, the volume, or what, how loud it's capturing my voice. Oh, pretty cool. All right. So let me zoom in so you can see these screens. Okay, so here we go. I'm gonna show you the screen. Try to get it, good angle here. And so I can focus and you can see exactly what I'm looking at here. Okay, so you can see here it says, it has like a radio tower antenna there and it says TX for the transmitter. And this is what you'll have on you. And it has some code, it says CH01 space 570.15 megahertz, 13 decibels. And you can see that there and then the battery indicator. And there's a close up, like I said, the USB type C. It's a clip so you can put on your, your waistband, power button, and then the plus minus, and I guess settings. And you can probably change, oh, it's probably channel one. So I'm blinking it, changing to different channels. Okay. And again, I'm gonna read on the instructions, see what exactly this thing can do. And then right here you have the microphone input to plug the lavalier mic. This is the microphone on this transmitter itself. And the lavalier mic would plug in like so. And then you just put this on your shirt. Now this piece here, this is the receiver. You can see that there. All right, so it has, like I said, the signal bars, like on your cell phone. Battery indicator says RX, same thing, channel one, 570.15 megahertz. 
it says V-13, I don't know what that is. And on this left side, it says A, has a couple dots all the way, and then a U on the other side, which I'll read in the manual to see exactly what that means. And again, for charging, USB Type-C, which is cool because everything modern nowadays uses USB Type-C, so I'm glad to see that they put that on this device. Uh, here is the, for headphones, if you're gonna monitor, audio with a pair of headphones and this i have to find out what that input is i thought that was a microphone but i don't know it's an arrow with a half circle on it and again here it looks like the settings button the symbol like a cog wheel so settings plus and minus i guess to change it once you're in the menu and pixel vocal vocal air wireless microphone system so pretty cool, very small, compact. So both of these, you could just put this right on your belt or waistband, use the lavalier, or you could put this probably on your shirt too. You don't even have to, if you're not gonna use it, you could probably just clip this right to your lapel or whatever. And then they have the microphone, so you don't even need to use the lavalier mic, wired mic attached to this. So in the next segment, I'm going to be outside and I'm going to measure off a distance and hook this up to my camera and then we'll see how, from what distance, uh, how far I can go and audio quality is still uh, good. So that's in the next se segment. Stay tuned. All right, guys, I'm in my backyard. I'm using my corded lavalier microphone and and see how far the distance stretched out should be about it says about 20 feet and this is the full extent of the cord and kind of let me get it more comfortable so that's like the full extent and i am close to 20 feet i'm about like 16 feet away i have a marker for 20 feet no, well, it's about a 20 feet because I have the marker a little closer to the platform where I have my camera stand tripod mounted. So this is the distance with the cord, about 20 feet. And as you can see, it's cumbersome. I have a cord, so this is as far as I can go. And now I'm going to switch to my Pixel Vocal Air wireless microphone and let's see the distance that I can get. And check that out okay guys I'm back now I have the wireless mic the pixel vocal air and I have it attached to uh, my hoodie cord right here I'm gonna do two tests with the distance uh, with this and I also have a lavalier that came with it that can plug right into here and you know just test out the quality coming from this microphone built in on the transmitter and also with the lavalier connected to the transmitter all right so now i'm going to walk to a distance about the same 20 feet i have markers in the yard uh 20 feet the first one and there's 10 feet after that so a total 60 feet so this is rated for 70 meters which is about 229 or 230 feet away which you know that's a great distance so we'll just test and see what i can do right here in the backyard so let me uh, test it walking away. I'm gonna be talking as I'm walking to the 20 foot marker. We'll see how the quality comes out. So here I'm at 20 feet. Testing one, two, three. And we'll walk 30 feet. And see how this is. All right, so here we go, 30 feet away. And I'm going to the 40 marker, 40 feet away. Hopefully I'm still in camera shot, it should be. And going to 50, see if it still sounds good. Uh, 50 feet away, and now going to 60 feet to the other end of my fence. And I'm testing one, two, three. This is at the 60 foot mark. I see the volume, the quality, if it's breaking up. I'm speaking in a normal tone. Now I'm speaking really loud. 
So just see how it sounds. And let me test it 60 feet away with my back. The microphone. And now I'm going to walk back to the, closer to the camera. And now I'll do the same once I connect the microphone, lavalier mic onto this, see how it sounds. So let's see. So I'm anxious to go back and look at the footage and see how this sounds. And now I'm right up to the camera, which obviously should sound great. So let me connect this lavalier microphone to it. Okay guys, now I have the wireless uh, transmitter. I have the lavalier plugged into it right here and I'm wearing it on the string on my hoodie. So I'm gonna do the same test, walking away and then coming back and we'll see. I just looked at the footage uh, real quick and I see, I guess, once my back was turned at the 60 foot mark at the other end of my yard, the fence, it, I couldn't hear anything. So I guess it has to be in the line of sight with it. So let's see how it does with this lavalier connected to the transmitter. Doing the same thing, walking to the 20 foot mark. And maybe just talking as I walk. This is the 20 foot mark. I don't know how the quality is. Hopefully it's good. I will look at the footage later, we'll see. Now I'm going to the 30 foot mark. Same deal, 30 foot mark here. And seeing how it is, testing one, two, three. Now I'm going to the 40 foot marker. 40 feet away. Hopefully the audio is good and no crackling or anything. We'll see. Now approaching the 50 foot mark and here we are at the 50 foot mark and testing one, two, three. Now I'm going to the last marker which is the 60 foot mark to the other end of the fence right here. I'm against the fence 60 feet away. Testing one, two, three. Testing one, two, three. And I'm speaking in a normal tone. Now I'm speaking very loud. Let's see how it is, the difference. And now let me turn my back to the receiver and see if it picks up. And turn back around. And blah, blah, blah. One, two, three, one, two, three. Testing one, two, three. And now I'm going to go back towards it and see while I'm walking and talking if the volume and the quality gets better, crackles or what have you. This is a test of the Pixel Vocal Air wireless microphone system. One, two, three. Okay guys, this brings this video to a close. That is my unboxing and testing of the Pixel Vocal Air wireless microphone system. We'll see the quality once I look back at the footage. If you found some usefulness and enjoyment and some good tips of what you can do with a wireless microphone and the quality from this brand, smash that like button. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, consider subscribing. Also, hit that bell notification so you're notified when I upload a new video. And as always, thank you for watching. I appreciate you spending some time with me. And I'll see everyone in the next video.